The mole is the unit of measurement for amount of substance in the International System of Units SI. Effective the 20th of May 2019, the mole is defined as the amount of a chemical substance that contains exactly 6.0221407 times 10^23 of Avogadro's constant constitutive particles, e.g., atoms, molecules, ions or electrons. This definition was adopted in November of 2018, revising its old definition based on the number of atoms in 12 g of carbon-12 12 the isotope of carbon with standard atomic weight 12 by definition. The mole is an SI base unit, with the unit symbol mole. The mole is widely used in chemistry as a convenient way to express amounts of reactants and products of chemical reactions. For example, the chemical equation 2H2 plus O2 2H2O can be interpreted to mean that 2 moles dihydrogen H2 and 1 mole dioxygen O2 react to form 2 moles water H2O. The mole may also be used to represent the number of atoms, ions, or other entities in a given sample of a substance. The concentration of a solution is commonly expressed by its molarity, defined as the amount of dissolved substance per unit volume of solution, for which the unit typically used is moles per liter The term gram molecule was formerly used for essentially the same concept. The term gram atom has been used for a related but distinct concept, namely a quantity of a substance that contains Avogadro's number of atoms, whether isolated or combined in molecules. Thus, for example, one mole of magnesium bromide is one gram molecule of magnesium bromide but three gram atoms of magnesium bromide. <laughs> <laughs> Definition and related concepts Amount of substance is a measure of the quantity of substance proportional to the number of its entities. As of 2011, the mole is defined by International Bureau of Weights and Measures as The mole is the amount of substance of a system which contains as many elementary entities as there are atoms in 0.012 kg of carbon-12. When the mole is used, the elementary entities must be specified and may be atoms, molecules, ions, electrons, other particles, or specified groups of such particles, thus, by definition, one mole of pure 12C has a mass of exactly 12 g. However, on 16 November 2018, after a meeting of scientists from more than 60 countries at the General Conference on Weights and Measures in Versailles, France, organized by the International Bureau of Weights and Measures all SI units will be defined as constants. This means that any SI unit, including the mole, will not be defined using physical objects but rather they will be defined by constants that are, in their nature, exact. Such changes will officially come into effect on 20 May 2019. Following such changes, one mole of any substance is now defined as containing 6.022147076 x 10 to the power of 23 particles which includes atoms, ions, electrons and molecules, for example, one mole of hydrogen atoms, will be defined as containing 6.0221407 times 10 23 of hydrogen atoms in it, weighing exactly 1.008 grams same as the R of one hydrogen atom. The molar mass of a substance is the mass of a sample divided by the amount of substance in that sample. This is a constant for any given substance. Since the unified atomic mass unit symbol, U, or Da is defined as one twelfth of the mass of the 12C atom, it follows that the molar mass of a substance, measured in grams per mole, is numerically equal to its mean atomic or molecular mass expressed in Da. One can determine the amount of a known substance, in moles, by dividing the sample's mass by the substance's molar mass. Other methods include the use of the molar volume or the measurement of electric charge. The mass of one mole of a substance depends not only on its molecular formula, but also on the proportions within the sample of the isotopes of each chemical element present in it. For example, one mole of calcium 40 is 39.9625908 plus or minus 0.0000022 grams, whereas one mole of calcium 42 is 41.9586101 plus or minus 0.0000027 grams, and one mole of calcium with the normal isotopic mix is 40.078 plus or minus 0. 0.004 grams. 
Since the definition of the gram is not as of 2011 mathematically tied to that of the atomic mass unit, the number of molecules per mole Na the Avogadro constant must be determined experimentally. The value adopted by CODATA in 2010 is Na equals 6.0221412 plus or minus 0.0000027 times 1023 moles minus 1. In 2011 the measurement was refined to 6.0221407.8 plus or minus 0 0.0000018 1023 moles minus 1 mass and volume properties of matter are often used to quantify a sample of a substance however the volume changes with temperature and pressure similarly due to relativistic effects the mass of a sample changes with temperature speed or gravity this effect is very small at low temperature, speed or gravity, but at high speed like in a particle accelerator or theoretical space craft, the change is significant. The amount of substance remains the same regardless of temperature, pressure, speed or gravity, unless a chemical or nuclear reaction changes the number of particles. History The history of the mole is intertwined with that of molecular mass, atomic mass unit, Avogadro number and related concepts. The first table of standard atomic weight atomic mass was published by John Dalton in 1805, based on a system in which the relative atomic mass of hydrogen was defined as 1. These relative atomic masses were based on the stoichiometric proportions of chemical reaction and compounds, a fact that greatly aided their acceptance. It was not necessary for a chemist to subscribe to atomic theory an unproven hypothesis at the time to make practical use of the tables. This would lead to some confusion between atomic masses promoted by proponents of atomic theory and equivalent weights promoted by its opponents and which sometimes differed from relative atomic masses by an integer factor which would last throughout much of the 19th century. Johns Jacob Berzelius 1779 to 1848 was instrumental in the determination of relative atomic masses to ever increasing accuracy. He was also the first chemist to use oxygen as the standard to which other masses were referred. Oxygen is a useful standard, as, unlike hydrogen, it forms compounds with most other elements, especially metals. However, he chose to fix the atomic mass of oxygen as 100, which did not catch on. Charles Frederick Gerhardt (1816–56), Henri Victor Regnault (1810–78), and Stanislaw Cannizzaro (1826–1910) expanded on Berzelius' works, resolving many of the problems of unknown stoichiometry of compounds. And the use of atomic masses attracted a large consensus by the time of the Karlsruhe Congress (1860). The convention had reverted to defining the atomic mass of hydrogen as one, although at the level of precision of measurements at that time. Relative uncertainties of around 1% this was numerically equivalent to the later standard of oxygen equals 16. However, the chemical convenience of having oxygen as the primary atomic mass standard became ever more evident with advances in analytical chemistry and the need for ever more accurate atomic mass determinations. Developments in mass spectrometry led to the adoption of oxygen 16 as the standard substance, in lieu of natural oxygen. The old definition of the mole, based on carbon-12, was approved during the 1960s. The four different definitions were equivalent to within 1%. The name mole is an 1897 translation of the German unit mole, coined by the chemist Wilhelm Ostwald in 1894 from the German word molecule However, the related concept of equivalent mass had been in use at least a century earlier. The mole was made the 7th SI base unit in 1971 by the 14th CGPM. At the 26th CGPM, the definition of the mole was changed from a number derived from a weight, the number of atoms in 12 grams of carbon 12, 12 C, to directly being equal to Avogadro's constant. Topic: Criticism <coughs> 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 Since its adoption into the International System of Units in 1971, numerous criticisms of the concept of the mole as a unit like the meter or the second have arisen The number of molecules, etc. in a given amount of material is a fixed dimensionless quantity that can be expressed simply as a number, not requiring a distinct base unit 
The SI thermodynamic mole is irrelevant to analytical chemistry and could cause avoidable costs to advanced economies. The mole is not a true metric i.e. measuring unit, rather it is a parametric unit and amount of substance as a parametric base quantity. The SI defines numbers of entities as quantities of dimension 1, and thus ignores the ontological distinction between entities and units of continuous quantities. In chemistry, it has been known since Proust's Law of Definite Proportions that knowledge of the mass of each of the components in a chemical system is not sufficient to define the system. Amount of substance can be described as mass divided by Proust's definite proportions and contains information that is missing from the measurement of mass alone. As demonstrated by Dalton's law of partial pressures 1803, a measurement of mass is not even necessary to measure the amount of substance although in practice it is usual. There are many physical relationships between amount of substance and other physical quantities, the most notable one being the ideal gas law where the relationship was first demonstrated in 1857. The term, mole, was first used in a textbook describing these colligative properties. Other units called mole Chemical engineers use the unit extensively, and decimal multiples may be more suitable for industrial use. For convenience in avoiding conversions in the imperial or American customary units, some engineers adopted the pound mole notation LB mole or LBMOL, which is defined as the number of entities in 12 pounds of 12 c. 1 lb mole is equal to 453.59237 moles, which value is the same as the number of grams in an international avoirdupois pound. In the metric system, chemical engineers once used the kilogram mole, notation kilogram mole, which is defined as the number of entities in 12 kg of 12 c, and often referred to the mole as the gram mole, notation g mole. When dealing with laboratory data, late 20th century chemical engineering practice came to use the kilomole, kmol, which is numerically identical to the kilogram mole, but whose name and symbol adopt the SI convention for standard multiples of metric units. Thus, kmol means 1,000 moles. This is analogous to the use of kilogram instead of g. The use of kmol is not only for «magnitude convenience», but also makes the equations used for modeling chemical engineering systems coherent. For example, the conversion of a flow rate of kilogram per second to kmol, s only requires the molecular mass without the factor 1000 unless the basic SI unit of mole per second were to be used. Concentrations expressed as kmol per cubic meter are numerically the same as those in mole per cubic decimeter i.e. the molarity conventionally used by chemists for bench measurements, this equality can be convenient when scaling up. Greenhouse and growth chamber lighting for plants is sometimes expressed in micromoles per square meter per second, where 1 mole photons equals 6.02 times 1023 photons Topic 2019 redefinition equals In 2011, the 24th meeting of the General Conference on Weights and Measures (CGPM) agreed to a plan for a possible revision of the SI base unit definitions at an undetermined date. The 26th meeting of the CGPM, in a formal vote on the 16th of November 2018, approved the proposed redefinition of SI base units mole, kilogram, ampere, and kelvin. One mole of a substance will have exactly 6.0221476 times 1023 specified elementary entities of that substance. The definition of the mole will no longer be based on mass, and the new definitions will take effect the 20th of May 2019. Related units The SI units for molar concentration are mole per cubic meter. However, most chemical literature traditionally uses mole per cubic decimeter, or mole dm3, which is the same as mole per liter. These traditional units are often denoted by a capital letter M pronounced molar". Sometimes preceded by an SI prefix, for example, millimoles per liter (mmol, L) or millimolar (m), micromoles liter (mmol per liter) or micromolar (mm), or nanomoles (l) (nmol, L) or nanomolar (nm). 
The dmal D is an obsolete unit for expressing the concentration of a solution. It is equal to molar concentration at 0 degrees Celsius, i.e., 1 D represents 1 mole of the solute present in 1 cubic decimeter of the solution at 0 degrees Celsius. It was first proposed in 1924 as a unit of concentration based on the decimeter rather than the liter. At the time, there was a factor of 1.000028 difference between the liter and the cubic decimeter. The dmal was used as a unit of concentration in electrolytic conductivity primary standards. These standards were later redefined in terms of molar concentration. Topic: <inaudible> Mole day. October 23, denoted 10/23 in the US, is recognized by some as Mole Day. It is an informal holiday in honor of the unit among chemists. The date is derived from the Avogadro number, which is approximately 6.022 times 1023. It starts at 6.02 am and ends at 6.02 pm. Alternatively, some chemists celebrate June 2 or February 6, a reference to the 6.02 part of the constant. See also Notes and references External links Chemteam, the origin of the word mole at the Wayback Machine, archived December 22, 2007.